Hello, and thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel and Scrapbook Sunday 101. Today, we're going to actually mix it up a little bit, and we are going to get started. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come scrapbook with me. So for today, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch to the new catalogs. So I'm going to focus on using Hello Friendly from the upcoming Celebration Catalog. And this um, Celebration set, you can get the stamp set plus the papers, the Designer Series papers, which are so cool. Look at these, they're gorgeous. Okay, free with a $100 order, and that's in the U.S., and of course they're double-sided. And when I was looking at this, and I did my Facebook Live on Monday... I fell in love with the cards, but I just thought this would make a great sampler piece. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to do a scrapbook uh, page, but it's a sampler. And if you missed my YouTube live on Monday, you're going to want to check that out because I showed some cards, which I'll show you the cards right now. Okay, so this is also with that um, hello, uh, friendly hello. I think I called it hello friendly, but... Okay, and I used the Wink Estella. Check out the um, YouTube video. Okay, here's another one that I did with that set. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? And then this was the featured card, and I did the tutorial on how to do a pull-out fun fold. So if you missed that, just go back to my YouTube channel and watch those videos. So we're going to get started. I'm also going to be using a sentiment from In the Moment, which is also in the new uh, January to June catalog, because I'm making this as a uh, birthday gift. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of petal pink 12 by 12 paper. I've already cut the pieces and everything, and I'm really just going to tell you the sizes, how you can do this and put it together. So again, I'm using the designer series papers. So what I did first was, let me bring these in. I cut squares of, these are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I layered the designer series paper on top of that. And that's three and a half by three and a half. So let's just go through and show you that first. And again, I can get three across here. This is actually going to be a class that I'm gonna start in January uh, in home, in my in-person class. And the girls will get, or the stampers I should say, will get a frame with this first project. And then every month we'll do, every month, every other month, we'll do another sampler and they can change out their projects. So this is how the first section's going to look. All right, so let's put that together before I, I lose all my pieces. And I am going to go ahead and use our stamp and seal. I'm going to layer that right on top there. I love samplers. I have an older one up um, on my shelf, and I really wanted to do some more of these. And the great thing is if you get a nice frame, you just make a sampler for every season and it becomes your decorations. Okay, so I'm putting this over here. I'm just putting these together. I liked putting it on the black because it really brought out the paper. You can also use your liquid glue. hard to decide which side you want, but I wanted the sides with the black, more black um, image to it because of the black matting. Okay, and I am going to space that right here, hopefully. Let me just move that so I can get that straight. Okay, so there's my first row. Then I'm going to grab a middle row and this one is a little bit different. So this piece is three and a half by 11. You could bring it out further if you wanted, but I wanted to bring that in a little bit. And this piece is, this is three and three quarters by 11, and this is three and a half 
by 10 and three quarters. So again, just giving it a little bit of back matting in the back to bring out those colors. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. This might actually be a, well, it could be a Christmas present. That went on a little bit crooked. Let me just fix that. Um, except for I'm using birthday sentiments. So this is gonna make a beautiful birthday gift. All right, let me just re-put that on there. I didn't press it down so that I could move it. There we go. Okay, so that piece is going to go right in here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. There's my middle piece. Okay, now I have some more squares and designer series papers. Let me bring that in. And again, the same colors and the same sizes. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that up because I don't want the same colors on the same pieces. So you see how here's the blue. I'm putting the blue over here. And these are going to go, I think... I'm going to do it this way. There we go, like that. That's, and I'm just making sure that's where I want everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that down. I'm going to go ahead and put that one on. You can do a sampler with all squares of this size. You could do three of this size. Make them all a little different. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's lay that down. down now. And the measurements are in the description below of what I use. But you can change it up any way you want. Oop. This one moved over a little bit. Very gently I can lift that up. Okay, just a little bit too far. There we go. And then this one. So now my matting's all done. Let me start with what else I used. And I did use the So Sweetly Stitch dies with this, which are in the annual catalog, which we tend to forget about when a new catalog comes out. And what I did was I cut these little guys out for each color. Let's just lay those down. I'm not sure which way I want these, so there's one of them that's not going to get one. Let me just take a look here. Okay, so that I think I like like that. This one. This one is not going to get the. Well, maybe I will. Let me put. Let me start with this one. So this is actually going to go right here. I did all my stamping already. Okay, so this is telling me uh, you're always a good friend to others. This is from our Expressions pack in the annual catalog, and I thought that would look kind of cute over there. So I'm just putting these together to see how I like this. Now I have a piece of ribbon here, and I think I'm going to use that. I'm not quite sure. But I'm just going to cut off a little bit on the edges here. I might lay that right there. That's still a little long, so let's cut off a little bit more. I want to get it at a nice angle. I might use this. 
Still not liking that. Let me grab my other scissors. Okay. Get a nice crisp edge here. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to use that right there. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I've already colored and put Winkastella on some of these. And I'm gonna have two birds right here. I'm pretty sure that's how I wanna do it. And then I'm gonna bring in Hello Friend. Again, using the sweet, uh, Stitch Sweetly dies. And from that gold pack, I have that little gold piece. See, they, they pull out, let me just show you this. Again, we forget these things in the annual catalog. And I thought they went very nice over here, so I'll do that. Now this one's gonna go right here, and it's got both colors in it. And you'll see that this says, actually, let me show you another one. See the difference in the Fresh Freesia? That's because I originally colored it in the pool party, and then I didn't want that, so I colored over it, and it actually, what a great color, right? That one I think is gonna go there. This one, I think I'm gonna put here. Still playing. And then let's see. The happy birthday. This one's going to go right here. So again, the So Sweetly Stitch Dies. Happy birthday. And one of those little gold pieces. So now that I have my layout done, this one, I didn't do the Wink Estella. So I'm going to grab some Wink Estella. So I can show you how to do that. I used my blends. And then for Wink Estella, you just paint that. I could put it right on here. And make that glittery. Okay. All right. So now we're going to start putting this down. I am going to use some dimensionals, too. Even though it'll be in a frame. If you get a shadow box frame, it will show it a little bit better okay so let's start with up here so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue that down flat this is actually gonna go on with dimensionals Let me grab a couple dimensionals here if you've never done a sampler they are so much fun and make great gifts okay there's one now this one I'm gonna go ahead and glue down first. Boop. Put that right in the middle. This is gonna go on with dimensionals. Boop. You can see what I did was I stamped that on one side and then on the other. I wasn't sure I liked the dark side because you can't really see the, the um, sentiment. So that's why we have two, two sides to the paper so we can flip it over to the one we like. Nobody's gonna take this apart and look at it. At least I don't hope, I hope not. Go to this one, do the same thing. Whoop, okay, ran out of glue on that one. No worries, I got another one right here. Normally, I have my take your pick tool on the table here, and this one's going to go right like that. Okay, now for this one. I'm going to take these off for a second. I am just going to put a little glue in the middle here just to hold that ribbon down for a second. All right, my birds are going to go here, and they the first one's going to lay flat. And the next one is gonna go on with dimensionals. And it's just gonna be right about here. So you can see some of the flowers too. Okay, all right. Then we're gonna take the Hello Friend. That's gonna go right here. 
And again, using dimensionals. two flowers we'll put right there okay we're going to take this which is very very small this is actually a silicon mat right here we also have our smaller ones which mine doesn't happen to be on the table so but I should grab it because I want to show you. This small section, okay, is very small. So one of the things you can do is just put a little glue here and then take something small and add it, or you can use a sponge, but this is so small, I'm just taking my old uh, pick thing here and I'm just adding some glue onto it. You can also use uh, a sponge, but I don't want too much on this, so I'm just adding it. You can also use a uh, paper uh, toothpick, okay? I just want a little bit on there, and that's gonna go right there. Ooh. Looks good, right? Coming along good. Okay, this one has to go up here. So again, I'm just gonna add a little glue here. Toothpicks are great because they're real tiny also and you can just toss them. This I have to clean off, but it was handy. It was right by me, okay. That's going to go right over this. If you like my videos, please comment and share. Okay. So now we'll move on to this one. And again, we are going to glue that down right there. I'll flip that over. These make great projects to do with your kids can make uh, gifts for the grandparents, aunts, uncles, pa even your parents. I'm just going to go right across now and do these. And I just thought it was a nice little change from the scrapbook pages, although I love doing my scrapbook pages with you. This one. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you know when I upload a new video or I go live. Okay, now we have another one of these. So let's add a little more glue. Brush some of it on there like that. I use whatever happens to be handy on my desk. <laughs> okay, flip that over, and that fits nicely over that. It just brings out the wording, I think. Okay, how's it looking so far? Okay, now also with that expressions pack comes some sequins and these great little gold leaves. And we're gonna add those to it now, add those to the project. Let's go ahead and bring those over. Quite a few already pulled out. And I'm just going to add those wherever I want them. Okay. All right. So I am thinking the large one there. This one can go there. And for this, again, I'm going to use my liquid glue for this. Let me bring that mat back in so I don't get it all over. And I'm just going to 
Add some liquid glue here. It's going to go right under here and it's okay if it falls over that add a little more liquid glue to this tuck that right under there now of course these guys need some gold so we'll add this one there i have more so i can add as many as i want and i'm thinking maybe a little berry one up here birthday one put it right there so that these two are over here so I'm going to put that one on the other corner put that one right here all right let's see what we want to do with this one this one I think I'll go here what do you think how's it coming are you liking it Got another one right here I think the gold really brings it out. Now remember, this is a set that you can get only during celebration with a $100 order. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Good. Okay. Now down here, we have a couple more little sprags. This one, I'm going to use this little guy. Tuck that back there. It's already got gold here. Here's one with two pieces. So let's go ahead and put that one maybe right about here. I might add something else to that one. Okay, we need a couple more. So let me open this packet and grab a few more leaves here. My hands are getting sticky. That's one of the reasons why I don't use liquid glue too many times. This I'm going to put right there. Let's see what else I have. And I have one with the little sprigs. I think this one would be better down here. You can see it better. Okay, so let's do that. You don't have to put as many of these on if you don't want to. But I really wanted to dress it up a little bit more. And then this one. Liquid glue, you don't need a lot. There. And then for this one right here, another one with the little sprigs because I think it just matches it nicely. Okay. This one I think I want to add. Maybe just two leaves. I actually think I want to put it under this, but how about next to it? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's just tuck that right under here. Just felt it needed a little bit more. Okay, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Came out really nice. I'm happy with that. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sequins that come with that pack. And I'm also going to grab something else new, which is the ir iridescent rhinestones. They really go well with the uh, iridescent sequins. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the larger ones and I'm going to put one in each of the flowers, so it kind of brings that out. This is definitely a project for my in-home classes in January. And we'll make one just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those larger gems, put them all on the larger flowers. Then we've got some smaller ones. 
So now I'm going to take the small ones and add those right in the middle of the smaller flowers. You can never have too many gems. Now back there, they don't need it, but on the front ones, they do. Just one here and there. Okay. Okay, so, and of course, the still shot will be on my blog. I think that's enough of those. Now I'm going to add some sequins. And they're just going to be random. I always like to add something on the sentiments, too. So these really do um, coordinate really nicely. You may not be able to see them too well in the video, but they do show up here. Okay, let's add a couple down here. Maybe a third one right there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And if you'd like to see more uh, Scrapbook Sundays with some samplers, we can do that too. Okay, I think I am ready to put it in its frame. Now, for the frame, I got these, oh gosh, a while ago. And it's not a shadow box frame. But I did get these before COVID hit for a class, which we never had. So I have some of these left. And we're just going to use that frame. There we go. You can use any 12 by 12 frame. This one, I liked it because it's got the black background to it, which is going to add to my picture right here. Now, I always take this piece and I just use the back side of it just to keep it in place. All right, and I am going to lay that back in there. And I am going to push these down so that they stay in place. Sometimes they're easy and sometimes they're not. Okay. Now it also has, which I've already taken these out, they have these corner pieces which really keep it in place. These I got... Again, I got this in Michaels, but you can get frames just about anywhere. So these pieces also stick in each corner just to keep that project in place. And we are going to see what it looks like. I don't know where the fourth one is, so we'll just worry about that later. And we're going to pull that over. And turn it around. And there is our project. I know that's a little bit of a glare there, but I am loving this. I am loving this. Who wouldn't like to get this as a gift, right? I think it just had enough on it. What do you think? Thank you so much for tuning in to Scrapbook Sunday 101 for my sampler project. And don't forget to subscribe and keep on scrapbooking, scrapbookers. Bye.